Hey Jake with B&H, NAB 2018. I'm in the Zcam booth here with Jackie. We're talking about the Zcam E2. Jackie, what can you tell me about this small camera? I think it packs a big punch. Yeah, this is a very special camera. Right off the gate, we always say it's 4K, 120 frames per second. So uh, drop that into a 30 uh, FPS timeline, you're gonna get that buttery, smooth footage. Um, so this is uh, very unheard of in this category. Um, it also has a 10-bit color, 13.5 stops of dynamic range. So uh, the quality all compacted into this size of form factor is uh, very uh, versatile for any kind of type of shooting scenarios. And we'll do regular frame rates like 24 FPS, 30 FPS, 60 FPS. Yep, and uh, all the way to 240 frames per second at uh, HD quality. Is that, is that in 10-bit? Yes, all 10-bit. The, is the 4K in 10-bit as well? 4K in 10-bit, yeah. 120 frames per second? Yeah. So That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, great. Now show me what's on the back of this guy. Yeah, for sure. So at the back here, there's a peripheral um, of uh, connections that you can have. Um, there's USB Type-C here. There's uh, Ethernet that you can have live streaming, for example. So imagine uh, now YouTubers can do cinematic live streaming. That's uh, unheard of again. Yeah. Um, there's also Wi-Fi connection. HDMI for a 4K connection to an external monitor, as well as you can uh, attach a uh, iPad to do the monitoring and also the color uh, checking and, and control. How, is it use an app for the with the iPad to view it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And then uh, you can also have an adapter for SDI and also synchronization with uh, multiple cameras. And so have an array of these cameras, you can um, control them pretty much with one person. Okay, so you can control the cameras remotely. Is that what this connection's for? Yes, yeah. Okay, all right, great. And what's the battery here? So the battery is Sony compatible, um, and uh, we also have CFAST for the memory. Can you speak to the motivation for the design? Like, why is it so small? Yeah, so we just want um, to build a package so that anybody can have any kind of peripherals that they want. Uh, if we were to stop on, you know, a screen here or whatever, it's gonna the form factor is gonna get bigger and bigger, and the battery you use will be, uh, you know, um, significant. So we just want to enable the user to be uh, able to shoot kind of in any kind of setting, uh, any kind of environment to do their storytelling. And uh, as well, this has deep learning inside, so it's gonna be able to detect a human being from a chair or from a dog, and you can be choosing your focus points and. Um, it'll work with a gimbal as well, so traditionally you would have a second person to control the gimbal, but now with the deep learning, it's able to uh, control the gimbal uh, as well. Now, in terms of um, viewing what you're shooting, I'm assuming that's what the HDMI port is for? Right, yeah, external so, monitor. Yeah, external monitor. Yeah. Are these shipping yet? Uh, these are planned to be shipped in July. July. Yeah. So who do you think, who, who is this camera perfect for? Well, this is actually for a whole range of professionals um, to do any kind of cinematic shooting, as well for YouTubers, basically. Uh, now you're able to have that cinematic look and feel that is, hasn't been really possible as of yet. And especially now if you're doing any kind of action shots, the 120 frames again in 4K is going to be really beautiful. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's fantastic. That's mind-blowing. 10-bit, 4K, 120 frames yeah. per second in this small camera. Yeah, 13.5 stops of dynamic range. Thanks, Jackie. No, thanks Appreciate for the information. The Zcam E2, Jake with B&H. Just keep shooting, guys.